Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory unto Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rechakwadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. And peace and blessings to all you out came out there pushing this word with all truth and sincerity. And to all you believers out there who believe in the gospel. And it's the brother Kwa Rabad from the GMS Houston camp. I just want to go into a lesson. Um, you know, Lord willing to be edifying and also motivating, man. You know, um, as uh, you had uh, the elder Ayatan out there in New York, he just put up a video, you know, going into, I think the title was um, Real Talk. Just because brothers are cool with you don't mean the most high is cool with you, you know? And he was going into how we can always do more. You see, you know, we can always do more. We can always give that extra effort, man. You see? And uh, also the Eldar Riala, he, he put, just put out a video, I believe it was yesterday, and uh, it was titled The Fourth Agreement, Always Do Your Best, man. You see? So this this video, you know, go line up somewhere around, um, along the lines of those videos, man, with, you know, Lord willing to fall into uh, that category of motivating us, you see? Because they, hey, they videos motivated me, because I know shit at times, you know, I get a lesson and I know I can do more after that, you know? You see? Hey, cause a hey, matter of fact, I, uh, you know that sports phrase they uh, say in sports is always somebody somewhere else working harder than you, man. Hey, that might be the title. It's always somebody somewhere else working harder than us, man. You see? So us knowing that, what shall we do? Go to give the extra effort to make sure whether we keep up with the body, you see, all bound, all bound in our works, man. Right? All bound in our works. Now, um, let me see. I'm going to grab this scripture first. You know, because we all here for what? Ultimately competing for a spot, man. Competing for a spot to get on the chariot. You know, competing for a spot to get crowned by your shot. You see, competing for a spot to have their hedge of protection around us now. And in a time of Jacob's trouble. And ultimately, when the when the, the missiles and the chariots come, it's your shot beam us up out of here, man. You see? You know? So, you know, just a, a, a exhortation to myself, first and foremost, man. Hey, to... A win and end. you see, think about when track, when you run that 400. Yeah, you you know, you 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 ease your way into it. You feel me? You get you a nice little stride around that first curve. Then you hit that straight and then that curve. But that last straight, what you do? Man, you kick it in the gear. You see, you put your foot on that gas, man. Well, guess what? We're in that last straight. We ain't, we ain't coming close to the finish line, man. You see that? So we all got an eight, eight. Kicking in the gear, man. Hey, like I said, I'm speaking to myself first and foremost. This motivation of myself as well, man. You see? But um, I'ma start with this, cause hey, we none of us can't get comfortable. You know, you you have some players where they think, well, I'm a starter already. I'm starting. You know, ain't nobody gonna take my spot away. Well, hey, and this truth, man, that can happen to uh anybody, man. That's why the scripture says give diligence to make your calling and election show, man. Let me start with this first. This Galatians 6 and Three, it says, for if if a man think himself to be something, when he is nothing, he deceive of himself. You see, and that's for all of us. If we think we got it already, you know, uh, achieved the crown because we didn't put up a couple of videos. You see, we didn't going out to the highways and hedges. You know, well, I paid for the brother fool last week. You know that hey, that no, we gotta continue doing that. Them good works gotta continue until the end. You see. Hey, like a um Apostle Paul said real quick, and Apostle Cabal also did a video on this. Our last works in the ministry. Um I forget how the title go, but he was pretty much going into um how hey, hey, once you once your last you as good as your last works. In other words, in other words, what have you done for me lately? That's how the most high thinking. Yeah, I know you put up a fire video two weeks ago. You see, I know you didn't help that brother, you know. Two a week ago, you see. But what you did for me this week? What you what you gonna do tomorrow? You know what lessons you got coming up? And that's the mindset we all gotta have. But real quick, and I'm gonna go back to that Galatians. This is Philippians. Um, let me see if I can snag it real quick. This Philippians three or two. Like you. This Philippians 3 and 13 it says, Brethren, I count not myself 
to have apprehended, right? Apostle Paul saying, I ain't saying I made it already. You see, I ain't saying, I, you know, I for sure just got a spot on a chariot already, right? Like I'm, I'm good and clear. It says, brother, not count, not myself to have apprehended, but this one thing I do, forgetting those things which are behind the, the old works, that's in the past, it's time for new works. And he says, what? And reaching forth unto those things which are before, man, I press toward the mark for the prize of the high calling of the most high Yahweh Shah Mashiach, we press toward that mark. And as I mentioned before, through the spirit, once you get to, when you see that finish line in sight, what you do, you run faster, you give it all you got. Hey, some people even dive across that thing. You see, give exert all the energy, man. You know, what a closer we see these prophecies of feeling, everything Yahweh Shah said that was gonna, gonna come to pass before his coming, we seen it. So what shall we do? And like I said, and uh, what that is, Peter. Um, seeing all these things shall be dissolved What manner of persons ought you to be You know But going back to that Galatians 6 And 3 it says For If a man think himself to be something When he is nothing he deceive of himself But let every man prove his own work Hey make sure you doing what you gotta do Make sure I'm doing what I gotta do you see, to please the Lord, like El Dayatan said, it ain't about pleasing men. It ain't about putting videos up just to please, please a man, you know? Oh, I want this, brother. You know, no. It's about pleasing the Lord, man. That's what it's ultimately about. Like he was saying, we ain't get called up in here, you see, to uh, be man pleasers, man. We got called up in here to get on the, in the good graces of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai, you know? We can't be saved by another man and we can't save another man. Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai gonna have to save us, man. You see? So we should be trying to do the work to please them, it says. But let every man prove his own work. And then shall he have rejoicing in himself alone and not in another, man. You see? You, you have confidence in that day. That shit, I did all I had to do. I laid it out. You see? I laid it all on the line, man. Right? Like Apostle Paul said, I fought the good fight. I kept the faith. You see? He endured it to the end. Yahweh I said it too. It is finished. Well, we hope to say that too. It is finished. I fought a good fight. I kept the faith. And henceforth, there is laid up a crown for me. But that's only if you continue the works until the end. It says, for every man shall bear his own burden. It says, let him that is taught in the word communicate unto him that teacheth in all good things. Be not deceived, the most high is not mocked. For whatsoever a man soweth, that shall he also reap. So whatever we putting out, we going to get it back. You see, whatever we putting out, we going to get it back, man. So if you putting out good works, you know, showing the Lord that you truly trying, guess what? He going to reward us for that, man. You see? But uh, let me snag this real quick just to go into it. How, hey, it's always somebody somewhere else working harder than us. Let me snag that in Matthew 25 because we all giving that gift. You see, we all, hey, we all compete for a spot is what we do with the opportunity that we have been given, man. You know, like it says, many are called, but few are chosen. Why are those few going to be chosen? Because they the ones who did the work. Why you think it's the parable that Yahweh Shai gave, the five virgins who was wise and the five virgins who was foolish. When it came down for Yahweh Shai to come, the foolish virgins try to go to the wise virgins and say, hey, give us, matter of fact, we going to that Matthew 25 right now. Um, I ain't going to read that. I'm going to get to the point what I want to get to, but just to finish on that, that point, um, they went to the wise virgin saying, hey, give us some of y'all oil, man. You know, gay, give us some of hey, give us some of y'all garment. Cause we can't get in the wedding feast without the garment, without this oil. And what the wise virgin said, hey, it's not enough for us and y'all. Y'all should have got this for y'all. So we got it for ourselves. That's the same thing, man. You see, they put in that work. You know, it was those men fault. They didn't um take advantage of the opportunity, man, of this grace period, right? But this Matthew 25, and I want to hit on the point of uh, we all got that opportunity. We all been given that that um, the goods of the Lord or that penny, man, and what we going to do with it. You see? And this go going to, it's always someone somewhere else working harder than you. Right? This Matthew 25 and 14, it says, For the kingdom of heaven is as a man traveling into a far country. Who called his own servants and delivered unto them his goods. This man is Yahweh Shai. And what's that far country he at? He on the right hand side of the father, man. And he delivered unto his servants his good. What is that? This truth. The understanding of the word. It says, and unto one he gave five talents, 
to another two and to another one to every man according to his several ability and straightway took his journey then he that had received the five talents went and traded with the same and made them other five talents this man put in work with his time the time he was given he worked you see it says and what would it mean by he he took them five talents and traded he went out preached his word and brought in fruit brought in more believers man you see it says um and likewise he that had received two he also gained other two he put in work you see he put in work man he ain't let his grace period pass him by right they was competing for a spot to please the lord when he come back it says but he that had one received one went and digged in the earth and hid his lord's money he didn't do nothing with his grace period you see he felt well shit i got the truth i got the truth but i guess that's good enough i know i'm israelite you see i know the law says your commandments but i ain't gonna go work it's, it's good enough that i know this the lord the lord gonna come for me you know he pleased with my works because i know this truth that's one of the ones he was called but he wasn't chosen he didn't do nothing with it he didn't seize the opportunity and why i wanted to get this because all these men all these men was given those goods and that talent um in the same time period but guess what the one who had five he worked harder than the one who had one the one who had two he worked harder than the one who had one the point was each man had the same time right but you had other men working harder than others although they all had the truth these men was competing for the spot man it says and after a long time, the Lord of those servants cometh and reckoneth with them. And so he that had received five talents came and brought other five talents, saying, Lord, thou deliverest unto me five talents. And behold, I gained besides them five more talents. Lord, I did that work that you wanted me to do. You see? It says, his Lord said unto him, well done, thou good and faithful servant. Thou has been faithful over a few things. The Lord ain't asking a lot of us. He asking a few things of us, man, on why, why we're here on earth, you see, to do his work. What's some of those things, man? Going out on the highways and hedges, doing your lessons, charity amongst the brother, uh, brotherhood, you see, being brotherly, praying, fasting, studying, reading, right? These are the few things the Lord asking us to do, man. We did more than this in the world, trying to please hoes and please niggas. You did, you did more in the world trying to keep up with it. Like you said, keep up with the Joneses, man. Right? The Lord asking a few things. So that he says, because thou hast been faithful over a few things, I will make thee ruler over many things. Into thou into the joy of the Lord. Come on in this chariot. I got some, some blessings for you. I got a crown I want to put on your head. You see, because you took advantage of your grace period. It says, he that also received two talents came and said, Lord, thou deliverest unto me two talents. Behold, I have gained two others, two other talents besides them. His Lord said unto him, well done, thou good and faithful servant. Thou has been faithful over a few things. I will make thee ruler over many things. Into thou into the joy of the Lord. Come on, come be a joint heir with me. We about to rule all nations. We about to rule earth. Come on. You did what I asked you to do right it says then he which had received one talent came and said lord i knew that thou art an, a hard man reaping where thou hast not sown and gathered where thou hast not strawed and i was afraid and went and hid thy talent in the earth lo there thou hast that is thine lord i ain't do nothing you know i had the truth you know and uh, you know i thought that was good enough you know i was scared to go out on the highways and hedges i ain't want my boss to see me you see, I ain't do lessons because I ain't think I, I, I was a prophet. I thought I was just a believer. You see? He had the truth, but he ain't do nothing with it. All these men had the same opportunity and grace period, but some worked harder than others, man. There's always somebody out there working harder than us. So, hey, us knowing that, like the uh, elder Ayatan was saying, you might get in the lesson one day. That's the best feeling ever. I agree. That's the best feeling ever. Right? But some days... We can get another one in. We might get a good reading session in. Right? Feel okay. I read. I'm going to just meditate on what I read. Well, shit. You know? Shit. Might want to put it on wax. 
Or, or shit, read another chapter. Or maybe shit, go into the Hebrew, start studying some Hebrew then. And I'm speaking to myself because I know it's been times I done done lessons feeling good. And I'm about to kick me, kick back, you know, watch a little TV and or watch about the lesson, sit me some yaya. I done good. Well, no, you ain't good. As always, we can do do more. But also, the other made the point is, of course, we don't be over righteous. You see, we don't be over righteous. But the point is, is it don't hurt to give an extra effort, man. And Lord willing, the Lord put that pep in my st step to do more. You know, because I might have a lesson uh, uh, rolled out, and it's late, and might say, well, shit, I gotta man get up early, about four in the morning to go to work. You know, I'm gonna just do it in the morning. In the morning, come. You know, wake up a little later and I rush to work. I ain't never get a chance to do the lesson. It's happened before, man. So I'm getting on myself too. You know, straight up. It says, and his lawyer answered and said unto him, thou wicked and slothful servant. Thou knewest that I reap where I sow not and gather where I straw not. Thou oughtest therefore to have put my money to the exchanges. And then at my coming, I should have received my own with usury. Take therefore the talent which... The talent from him and give unto him which have ten talents. Give unto the man that's really doing his work. Give unto the man that's putting in. Give unto the man. Hey, because hey, you know in sports they'll say it's somebody working hard on you. Because you might after practice you might stay and get a hundred free throws and work on your free throws. It's somebody somewhere else across the country after practice they getting five hundred free throws. Yeah, you're doing the work, but shit, hey, then your Howard Shai said, be ye perfect as the Father in heaven is perfect. Now, we know we ain't going to be perfect. The point is, we got to keep um, uh, reaching toward that mark. Matter of fact, let me get a quick crease up. And um, where is that, man? It slipped my mind where is that. It goes something like, uh, I know it's in the fourth chapter or so. Damn. It goes somehow we are trying to measure up to the statue of Yahweh Shai. You know, we got to keep working till we, hey, be like the Lord. Now, of course, we ain't going to do it on this side. Got it. The water Yahweh by Shema Shai. But we trying. That's the point. Try. Give the effort. This Ephesians 4 and 11. And he gave some apostles and some prophets and some evangelists and some pastors and some teachers for the perfecting of the saints, for the work of the ministry, for the edifying of the body of Mashiach. Till we all come at the unity of the faith and of the knowledge of the Son of the Most High unto a perfect man, unto, unto the measure of the stature of the fullness of Mashiach. You see? So we trying to measure up, man. You know, it's the, that's where the bar is set at. Yeah, how about Hashim, how about Shah? And we trying to reach that bar. And the only way to reach that bar is if we are bound in the works of the Lord. Right? You know? But um, let me see what else. What else I got? Let's get this real quick. Ecclesiastes 9 and 10. It says, Whatsoever thy hand findeth to do, do it with thy might. So whatever we do in this world, starting with the work of the Lord, we have to do it with our might. You see, give it all we got. Why? It's going to tell us why. It says, for there is no work, nor device, nor knowledge, nor wisdom in the grave where the thou goest. In other words, we don't know when we, we don't know when the Lord going to call our spirit to the heaven. When we going, hey, like the scripture says, sleep with our fathers, man. In other words, pass away and die. We don't know that. So the time we got when we can wake up, breathe, do a lesson, read, study, be charitable. You see? Do it while we can, man. Hey, that's why the scripture says the time is short, redeeming the time. You know, roughly paraphrasing. You see? So we got to, hey, it was our mind to go straight now, be in return, seek the Lord 10 times more. You see? Let me read that again. What's Ecclesiastes 9 and 10? Whatsoever thy hand find of to do do it with thy might for there is no work nor device nor knowledge nor wisdom in the grave whether thou goest man you know and nobody no other brother can't help us get on that chariot we all got to do it for our own selves we all going to yahweh shah coming back to reward each man for his own works you see let's go back to that philippians real quick this philippians 2 and 12 it says well for the rather so like it well for my beloved as ye have always obeyed not as in my presence only right we ain't only doing the work around brothers around believers you see when when we had practice with the team you see we doing the work because you had practice no 
what makes a player great? The extra work he put in, man. You know, the extra work he put in. You see, it says, not as in my presence only, but now much more in my absence. What we doing on our uh, uh, leisure time? What we doing with, when we by ourselves? Is we staying late after after practice and getting more work in? Is we showing up early to practice, getting work in? You see, and I'm using sports as an analogy because you got that competing aspect in it, man. We competing for our crown. Then you have what said, let no man take that crown. In order for not to let somebody take it, you got to work, man. You got to, in other words, no, you got to fight for that. You got to compete for a crown in that spot on the chair. And it ain't going to be easy. <laughs> you feel me? It ain't going to be easy, man. You know, it says... But now much more in my absence work out your own salvation with fear and trembling. You got to do what you got to do to get on that, on that chariot, man. You got, hey, we all got to do what we got to do to get on that chariot. You see? You can't let a, 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 a like I said, let no man take that crown. You can't let no other man get in no way. Or uh, uh, people in the world, your family get in your way of you being saved by Yahweh, by Hashim, Yahweh Shai, man. We have to do what we have to do. You see? Now, of course, you know, we stay in order. You see, uh, apply the scriptures, right? But we do what we have to do, man. Because when that day come in Jacob's trouble, you can't be like, damn, man, I ain't want to, you know, I ain't want to, damn, I should have did this. I should have, could have, would have, you know, type attitude or regretting. No, the scriptures say you're going to have, we're supposed to have confidence in that day, man. If you regret, you go let your sins weigh you down. Your conscience go condemn you. Because why? You ain't do enough. But if you did enough, you could be confident. Right? Second Peter. And I'm going to wind it down because I got to walk into this job, man. Second Peter 1 and 10. It says, well, for the rather, brethren, give diligence to make your calling and election show. For if you do these things, if you give diligence, abound, right? Go over the average. When you abound, you taking that extra leap, that extra jump. You see? You know, I'm so... Whoever ran track out there, you know what, you know, the abounding or uh, uh, football drills, you abound, man. You go over the average, man. Take that extra step and leap. It says, give diligence to make your calling and election show for if you do these things, you should never fall. You see? Come on, man. But I'm going to end it off with this, you know. Just wanted to, like I said, Lord willing, man, is not only edifying, but also motivating, man. Because we at the end, you know. We at the end, man. You know, this um, and like I said, I'm speaking to myself first and foremost. You know, putting that fire under my own ass, man. But this Second Peter three, and I'm gonna start at nine. It says the Lord is not slack concerning His promise, as some men may count slackness, but is long suffering to usward, not willing that any should perish, but that all should come to repentance. But the day of the Lord will come as a thief in the night. And you don't know when the Lord comes. Just like we don't know when we when we going to uh, uh, be taken out of, out of the earth, man. So we don't know when the Lord comes. Just like those other servants, those wise virgins, they had the oil. They was ready. They was watching. You know that old um, Malcolm X picture when he leaning, looking out the blinds with the gun. He was watching. He ready. He, he had his weapon. Well, we watching and ready with our sword, with our weapon. You see this truth, man. The whole armor. Huh? It says, In which the heavens shall pass away with a great noise, and the elements shall melt with fervent heat. The earth also and the works that are therein shall be burnt up. Seeing then that all these things shall be dissolved. So we know that this current system will be destroyed. If we know fire coming to America by what? ICBM missiles and fire from the chariots. If we already know these things beforehand, it says, what manner of person ought ye to be in holy conversation and godliness? What is our anastrophe? Right? It says, um, looking for and looking, looking. If you looking, that means you ready because you're ready to get out here. It says, looking for and hasting unto the coming of the day of the Lord, wherein the heavens being on fire shall be dissolved and the elements shall melt with fervent heat. Listen to this. Nevertheless, so even though these things going to happen, nevertheless, we, us in this truth, right? We, according to his promise, look for a new heavens and a new earth wherein dwelleth righteousness. Wherefore, beloved, seeing that ye look for such things, seeing we looking for Yahweh Shah to come in a new kingdom to get out of oppression, seeing that ye look for such things, be diligent. 
that ye may be found of him in peace without spot and blameless. Man, be diligent. Put in that work, man. You see? Why? Because it's always somebody somewhere else working harder than us, man. So we got to try to do our part and shit, add on to the body. Add on to the team because, yeah, we're a body. Yeah, we're a team. You see? But guess what? Just like in the sports, yeah, you a team. You try to win for the team, but you also got to get your own scholarships. You trying to get All-American. You trying to get invited to the combine. Well, the same thing for us. Yeah, we're a team. But shit, we trying to get a, our own crown. We trying to get a spot on the chariot. Same thing, man. But you know, Lord willing, this lesson was out of fine, man. And like I said, motivating. You know, I want to give all praise and glory to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Shem Chakwadash. Dub honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Peace and blessings to all you out here, my dub. Pushing this word with our truth sincerity. And with that, hey, Shalawan, man. Hey, shit, we at the end. You know, let's keep pushing so we can see each other on the chariot, man, and rejoice, man. Like the brother Shamala told me a while back, it's going to feel good to when you get in the kingdom on the chariot, you seeing your brothers who you put in work with, man. Who you, who you was getting blood, sweat, and tears down and dirty with on this side. And we all going to get rewarded together in the kingdom, man. But hey, with that, hey, Shalawan.